Hey hi, hello you guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we are vlogging, okay? It is gonna be a really fun day. I'm doing a photo shoot. I'm going to book club with my friends, so I'm making some fun new recipes. Um, and I just wanna take you guys along with me. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a while. So, making my coffee right now. Let me put you in my cabinet. Make my coffee. I went to my, to get my like monthly facial yesterday and they extracted like all this on my chin. So everything's like purging right now, so probably not the best time, you know, to get to do a photo shoot, but you know, here we are. Um, I'm feeling spicy today, so we're gonna use my favorite mug. Keep the tit and dietitian. I stand by that. I need to put more lights on. I feel like our apartment is a complete mess right now. This is a horrible angle. Sorry about that. Uh, apartment's a complete mess. I feel like that's just a theme. Again, we've been traveling and my birthday is coming up. It's August 18th, 818. Matt and I are gonna go to Fredericksburg. Just pouring this. Which is like wine country out in Texas. It's about a four hour drive from Houston. And we're staying in an Airbnb just for the weekend. And not this weekend, next weekend. So my birthday is next Thursday. And then we're staying there Friday, Saturday, coming back Sunday. So very quick trip. But we just want to do something fun. It's my 29th birthday. Matt turns 30 this year, so we're going to be doing some fun stuff for that. But um, yeah, we just want to do a little something fun, you know? I wanted to show you something. Oh, okay. Let me get my milk. We can do a taste test together. Let's do a taste test. If you guys have TikTok, um, I posted a mini like Trader Joe's haul. I got this coconut creamer, and I wanna see what it is, you know? So, I'm gonna taste this. Matt doesn't drink coffee or anything, so I'm just gonna drink out of it. Mmm, that's really good, it's sweet, but it says only, it's less than one gram of added sugar per one tablespoon, so I like it. Do a little dash, and then I just follow it up with almond coconut silk milk unsweetened. Whoop. That is my little coffee mixture. Mm. Today we have a fun day. Like I said, I'm doing a photo shoot for my friend Yami. If you guys don't know, she's also an influencer. She lives local in Houston. She has an active and swimwear brand called Lababi, and I've shot for them before. This was the photo shoot I did earlier this year, I think. I had pictures from that shoot. I still need to like post those, because that was really fun. Um, but I have to get ready for that, because I need to leave to get to her house by noon. Uh, ignore the laundry that's air drying in the back. But I need to leave to get to her house by noon, so I need to get going. Put some makeup on. Um, she said, we're just doing um, like sizing videos today, so like, so people can kind of see on different body types what sizing they would get based on the model, like what the model's wearing, you know, when you see a model. Literally so far from that, but when you see someone on the website and they're like, this person is wearing a medium. You're like, oh, I have the same body type, you know? So I've seen a few walking videos like that. All she said is we're like, nothing too glam makeup wise because it's like, we're gonna be in active wear, but white sneakers. So I got white sneakers. Um, and I'm just gonna wear, got some makeup on. I'll show you my updated makeup routine. Still loving this beautiful skin Charlotte Tilbury makeup or Foundation, amazing. I, I put that on with a little brush. Then I go in with my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in Vanilla. Yep. And then I set under eyes with the Fit Me Powder in Fair 05. Bronzer, I switch it up. I'm just using this side of this Wet n Wild one because it was cheap and I was at Walgreens. Needed it last minute. Um, then I add some glow to my face with this Tarte Glow Powder for Shape Tape. Really, really nice. And then mascara, I've just been using this, the false, the falsies in a brown. 
And what else? Eyebrows, I go back and forth. For clear gel, I really like this NYX. Ooh, NYX, the brow glue, really good, really affordable. And then for tint, I rediscovered this Give Me Brow from Benefit, this little travel size. So I've been using that for some tint, but that's my makeup routine. I'll come back when I'm done because you guys have seen it before. I'm not good at the application part. That's just what I use. All right, makeup is done. I just put some clear gloss on and now I have to run because we're a little late. Not late, actually. It's 11.09 and I have to be there at 12 and she lives 40 minutes away, so I have a little time. But she is pregnant due next month, Yami is, so I got her a little just outfit from, I was at TJ Maxx, this little Nike outfit. It is so cute, you can kind of see. I don't wanna unwrap it, even though I did a shit job at, unwrap, at wrapping it. But it's like this little watercolor sweater and then it has pink leggings. Leggings. Um, it's for when her kid's a year. She's having a baby girl. I don't know the name. But she's having, it's for 12 months. So it won't be for a while, but I feel like you're getting a lot. When you have a baby, you get a lot of clothes for like right now. But then like a year out, people kind of like don't buy clothes. I have never had a kid and it shows and it shows. Okay, I'm gonna get ready. I just, oh, let me show you my white shoes that I bought yesterday because shocking. I actually don't have white sneakers, which maybe isn't that weird because I self tan a lot So it's kind of hard to keep white clean, but I just got these like Adidas shoes from TJ Maxx, so we're gonna wear these and Shoot some active where I'm gonna see if I can vlog some I'll ask her I'm sure I can but Just a little bit. Yeah, let's go oh, like you eat snacks. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm done with the photo shoot. I'm actually at Nancy's Hustle right now, which is a really good restaurant in Houston, to get a gift card for our friend who took our engagement photo shoot. Um, and then I'm heading to book club. I'll, I already showed you, wait, did I show you guys what I got? No, I'll show you guys what I got for the pizza ingredients, all from Trader Joe's, and it's gonna be so good. It's like a prosciutto burrata arugula with the balsamic glaze. So freaking good, but I'm gonna run in here now. You've never heard of it from Houston. Nancy's Hustle, it's the place. Also, this shoot was so much fun. Sorry, people are walking out of it and I'm right in front. This shoot was so fun. I love Yami. She is so very pregnant, literally due it next month. So it's very exciting for her. Um, and if I, I think she's gonna be made coach, so I'll put it here. The sets are launching, I think August, next week sometime. So I will add that date. The sets are live, so if you guys wanna check them out, I will have them down below to check out. And they're so cute, and you guys will love them. So, all right, I'm gonna run in. This is what, oh, there's people walking. I don't think I'm filming them. Nancy's Hustle. So cute. Okay, I'm back from doing the gift card. I wanna show you the pizza I'm making for tonight's book club. So we're gonna bring all the ingredients there and then like make it together like a little activity and then talk about the book. But um, if you have tried the frozen pizza from Trader Joe's, it's a flatbread, I think. Um, it's burrata, prosciutto, arugula in the frozen section. I'm gonna show you how to do that at home with fresh ingredients. So these pre-made doughs from Trader Joe's, <laughs> that rhymed, are amazing. So I got two of the garlic and herb ones because I got dough for all of the girls who are making pizzas. So two garlic and herbs and then one plain because someone's making a dessert pizza. So the instructions are on the back here on how to like par cook them and everything. So you do that and then I'm topping it with low moisture mozzarella. This is better for cooking pizzas with because the moisture doesn't like seep out and sog up the pizza. 
So mozzarella, burrata, prosciutto. I'm gonna use garlic dip as a base. Then I'm gonna top it with arugula and some balsamic glaze and some chili flakes. But So I'll cook these, follow the instructions. Then I'll add the mozzarella, well garlic dip first, then mozzarella, then burrata. Pop it back in, and then at the very end, I'm gonna add a little prosciutto. Pop it back in just to brown this up a little bit. And then once it's all cooked through, done, top it with arugula, and then drizzle with balsamic glaze. Bada bing, bada boom. Easy, you don't have to add extra seasonings because the crust already has it. And it's so easy and so delicious. So definitely try it out. Like, let's like clean up some. <laughs> no, not and some mom. Clean the crust. Mom mode. Oh baby. <laughs> you can talk still. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I know we can talk. Yeah. We're mute. Show us the book. <laughs> I feel like we need a bigger piece of color. I feel like you guys do too. We do like mini everything, so it's like mini. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>